Have you decided that a Delmade River Pipe Layer is the right pipe laying solution for you, but you're not sure what series or size reel to choose? Let me walk you through it. Hi, my name's Sarah, and I just wanted to talk to you today about the Delmade River Pipe Layers. I'm just gonna run through with you the different series and specs. So we're gonna take a look at what depth and relating that back to what series you need, what size pipe fits which layer box, what reel size fits what size rolls of pipe, and other things that you need to consider when choosing your Delmade River Pipe Layer. So just to start off with, I'm just gonna quickly run through what the actual components of the unit are. So up here in the front, we've got our ripper tine. So all of this, your linkage here is all part of your ripper tine. Then here in the middle, we've got our layer box, which pins on the back of the tine there. And then we've got the hydraulic arm and reel, which is the third component of the unit. These guys here, are just our handy storage legs, meaning that you don't have to try and stand the unit up every time you want to use it. So one of the benefits with this unit is that all three of these components are completely detachable. So if you want a pre-rip, you can take off your layer box and your hydraulic arm and reel and just run the ripper tine behind your tractor. So first of all, we're going to talk about working depth. So with our tines here, you can see this is our standard unit. This has a 700 mil depth tine. We also do what we call our deep digger, and that has a one metre deep time. And it also has the assistance of hydraulic control. So that's a really good option if you're in really tight soil, uh, where you need to get that extra depth. What you're gonna find is most situations, the 700 mil time is gonna be completely workable for what you're doing. Uh, you'll find that most people are sort of laying pipe to or above that 500 mil um, mark. So. This unit here is the 700 mil time, so definitely suitable for most applications. One other thing to consider is that when you're choosing the right option for you, that you're going to have enough ground clearance underneath this three point linkage. So what I mean there is even when you've got this unit fully lifted on your three point linkage arms, you still need to make sure that there's enough clearance between the ground and the time so that you're not going to be um, touching the ground as you're driving along. So the next thing that you need to consider is which layer box you're going to choose. We've got two options here, and we have the option of a 105 mil aperture or a 150 mil aperture. So when we're talking about um, the aperture of our layer boxes, we're talking about this internal dimension here. So as you can see, this is a 105 layer box. Uh, so we just need to make sure that whatever you're putting through here, whether it be uh, just plain pipe with a poly weld or with an actual fitting just to make sure that you've got uh, five mil clearance either side if you are wanting to run your poly fittings through your river pipe layer just want to make sure when you're taking that measurement that you're measuring the outermost part of your fitting so in this case we've got a 50 mil fitting just there you do need to remember to allow yourself five mil clearance on either side of your pipe just to make sure that it runs through the unit smoothly so with the 105 mil, we can fit a two inch pipe with a regular fitting. And we can also fit a 63 mil or two and a half inch pipe if you're poly welding. With the 150, obviously your options are much larger and you can go 63 mil with a regular fitting if you choose. The next thing to take into account is your reel size. We offer two options in reel sizing. So we have our 2.8 meter and our 3.2 meter. Now with these, the best thing to do is talk to um, your rural dealer or go and measure a roll of pipe yourself just to make sure that you're going to fit. And there's three measurements that you want to get. There's the internal diameter of the pipe roll, there's the external diameter of the pipe roll and the width. And that will tell you how it's going to fit onto these reels and which option will be the best for your fitting. You're going to find that in most situations, the 2.8 meter reel is going to suit most jobs as well. So this is going to accommodate 300 meter roll of two inch pipe, no worries at all. It's only if you're moving into bigger jobs that the 3.2 meter can be a consideration. So the other thing that you need to consider when you are selecting your ripper pipe layer is the horsepower of your tractor and what's going to work best for you. So if we're looking at the standard series with the 700 mil time, in a 105 mil 
Aperture layer box, we recommend a minimum of 60 horsepower. In the 150 mil, we recommend a minimum of 75. If we're looking at the deep series, we recommend for either size box to have a minimum of 120 horsepower to pull the unit. So also consider the category of linkage that your tractor runs. We're pretty flexible here. They come out standard with Cat 2 linkage, but we are able to offer three and four, provided that you can offer us the measurement. So just to recap, the things that you really want to consider when choosing the right Delmade Ripper Pipe layer for you are the working depth that you're going to, so you can work out which series, the 700 or the one metre, is going to suit you better. What size pipe you're going to be laying, so then you can choose which layer box you're going to need to get the clearance of the pipe and how big a rolls of pipe you're going to be laying so you can work out which real size suits you best. If this has helped you out and you're ready to go, please feel free to give us a call on 1800 335 623 or jump on the Delmade website at www.delmade.com.au.